the evidence that Russia wanted Hillary as president is now overwhelming, despite the liberal left's continued narrative that President Trump colluded with Russia. Offended America reported, there is mounting evidence that the now discredited dossier was used as justification for seeking a secret FISA warrant to wiretap Donald Trump and his associates. Anyone involved in the creation of the dossier or the use of the dossier to seek out a FISA warrant may be guilty of colluding with foreigners to influence the election because after all Christopher Steele is a British citizen. Democrats say that, by attempting to undermine those who colluded with foreigners, to create a dossier entirely filled with false information, Republicans are simply trying to furnish the Trump administration with political talking points. In July the Washington Post reported that, the Russian lawyer who met with Donald Trump Jr., Natalia Veselnitskaya has previously worked with Fusion GPS on a lawsuit. Although the firm has said that they has no involvement in Veselnitskaya's meeting with Donald Trump Jr., many are doubting that claim. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Charles E. Grassley posted a complaint on his website, which alleges that Fusion GPS violated the Foreign Agents Registration Act by not filing proper disclosure when representing foreign entities. The Senate Judiciary Committee is currently investigation Fusion GPS, among other firms for violating the Foreign Agents Registration Act. If it is found that Fusion GPS did indeed act as an agent of the Russian government when they published the now discredited dossier on Trump, that would mean that Donald Trump and his campaign were victims, not beneficiaries of Russian interference in the election. On July 26 Fox News reported that Senate Democrats used a preliminary maneuver to prevent key witnesses from testifying in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Bill Browder, the CEO of Hermitage Capital Management, a Russian markets-focused hedge fund, was set to lay out for the committee how Fusion GPS was hired to produce a highly damaging smear campaign against his firm 